So I'm going to ask you to bear with me in this recording session because it's Tuesday night and I had a really rough day today. I injured my foot. I'm not going to get into details about it, but it hurts like hell. Took some medication to hopefully like subdue the pain. And yeah, it's not hurting as much anymore, but it is a lot better than what it was bef uh, before a couple hours ago. It was hurting like hell. And then not only that, but my Twitter account got suspended and I don't know how to send an appeal. The appeal system is absolutely fucking dreadful. So the only thing that I can hope is that in the next like 12 to 48 hours at most that my account ends up getting unsuspended but we're not really here to talk about that we're here to talk about asmongold and that's because a few days ago he had a live stream where he had something to say about uh palestinian people and the israel hamas conflict and the genocide in gaza and i'm not very political i don't really like to talk about politics on my youtube channel and i really don't like talking about politics in my own personal life it's just not something that i'm very interested in talking about and it mostly it has to do with the fact that i'm not very well informed to talk about a lot of certain situations and political beliefs and political figures and etc etc it's just not something that i like talking about but in the context of the situation with asmongold i kind of have to because asmongold had some stuff to say about the genocide in gaza where a lot of people were killed a lot of palestinian people were killed by the people of israel and it caused a massive conflict and a massive war and a lot of people are getting killed a lot of people are dying a lot of innocent people are dying especially women and children and it's horrible it's a horrible situation i don't really need to get that much deeper into it because most of you probably know more than i do which is good for you but you know it is what it is right uh, i don't really want to talk about it much further because it the, the whole situation i feel is just horrible in general because a lot of innocent people are dying and asma gold had something to say about it like i said and basically what he had to say is that he doesn't care about the fact that palestinian people are getting killed and then he thinks that they're terrible people he completely dehumanizes them and he even goes to, as far as to say that they're an inferior culture right he, they, that they are inferior people and that they have an inferior culture which you know is something that a lot of people who were nazis back in world war ii like to say this was something that uh, adolf hitler would like used to say about jewish people and obviously a lot of people got very upset by this as they should because what he said was genuinely one of the worst things possible that he could actually fucking say and it is very strange because basically what he's saying and the reason why he thinks that their culture is terrible is because of the fact that they are not very pro lgbtq right the palestinian people and arabic people don't really follow the idea of people being gay or transgender they're not very pro lgbtqia plus and and that just straight up isn't true because I'm seeing all this information being shown from uh, uh, Capri Sun Poppy on Twitter. And he got very upset by this. He actually tweeted a lot about Asmongold and has this entire thread where he says, Hey Asmongold, what about my culture makes it okay to genocide my friends and family? And then he shows two pro-LGBTQIA -LGBT Arab related organizations and a pride parade in, in Lebanon. And yeah, gay Arabs in Lebanon, pa Palestine telling you to keep your names out of their mouth. Yeah, it's like obviously not everybody who is Arabic and as Palestinian feel the same way about LGBTQ, right? They don't feel the exact same way that... A lot of people follow along very different things. I think Capri and Poppy actually also shows a tweet where one of the more popular clubs in Palestine or somewhere somewhere in, in, in that region of the world, uh, one of the more popular nightclubs is actually uh, a gay bar. So that is something that is actually very well known. And after this happened, a lot of people who were sponsored by asmongold's pc company ended up severing ties because they don't want to be associated with him and then eventually asmongold's twitch actually ended up getting suspended and we saw or i saw later from slash's twitter that apparently the suspension is only going to be for 14 days so asmongold is eventually going to end up being back on twitch and he's going to be able to continue to keep live streaming there but a lot of people got very upset by that honestly rightfully so because i mean what is there really to say right he pretty much just completely dehumanizes a group of people for their for their beliefs and says that he doesn't care about the fact that many innocent women and children are getting killed just because of where they were born and who they were born to and their beliefs and in what they what they believe in and yada 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 and it's just it's a ridiculous thing for him to say because he's advocating pretty much he's pretty much advocating for the mass killing of a bunch of innocent people that never did anything wrong especially towards Adsman gold like sure they have differing opinions and you know their beliefs are very much different but that doesn't mean that you have to support the mass killing of a bunch of people who did nothing to deserve it and then eventually asmongold would make a post on twitter apologizing but the apology was honestly really fucking bad he pretty much says oh man i messed up i said something dumb uh my bad and that's it that's pretty much all he had to say about that he got 
called out by the entirety of the internet by even Hassan. Hassan actually talked about this on his Twitter, and I think they actually had a debate somewhere where they were talking about it as well, and Asmongold just continued to keep fucking digging himself into a grave, saying even more stupid shit, and it was ridiculous. It was ridiculous of the fact that he even said this to begin with. It, it, it should never have been said. He should never have said this. I don't know what was going through his mind to make him think that this was a good thing to say. And I think what's even worse is the fact that there are people that actually agree with him, right? Just because of the fact that years ago in the past, or even still some people who still are Arabic and still have the same beliefs as Palestinian people, they don't really support LGBTQIA. And it's like, okay, but that doesn't mean that every single person who has the same similar belief system should be killed because of it. Everyone should be able to have their own opinions and their own beliefs and continue to keep existing. They shouldn't be killed just because of what they believe in and what they choose to follow in terms of religion. That shouldn't be happening at all. And for some reason, Asmongold thought it was a smart thing to, to say that he doesn't care. right? He doesn't care and he thinks that they're terrible people and that they're an inferior culture. That's an awful terrible thing to fucking say. And it also just doesn't help the fact that there are so many people's family members and friends who are getting killed. And of course, a lot of people are being affected by this. And it's awful, right? It's a genuinely awful, terrible situation. And when he said this, it just... It was shocking, right? It was genuinely a shocking thing to hear him say. But it's not as if he's not known for already having bad takes before in the past. He's had plenty of bad takes before in the past. A lot of the things that he said recently about, like, wokeness in video games, I found I found to be really fucking stupid. Like, in regards to uh, Ghost of Yote, I, I even made a video, it's on the YouTube channel, where I talked about the Ghost of Yote controversy, and I thought a lot of things that Asmongold had to say was just really fucking stupid. I, I, I thought that what he, what he was saying about the game was really dumb. The fact that he won't even try the game at all because he has to play as a, as a woman was really stupid. It, it was crazy. It was crazy the fact that he said this. It was, it's crazy that he believed this up until he was basically forced to apologize. And even then, it still doesn't really feel like that he's genuinely sorry. It, it feels like that he's just trying to cover his bases, right? It feels like he's trying to you know, fix a situation that has already, that has already been broken. And he shouldn't have talked about this. He shouldn't have had his opinions about this at all. He should have just kept his opinions to himself because he clearly doesn't know what it is that he's talking about. He doesn't, he's not fully educated about the, the, the backgrounds of most individuals who are living in Palestine right now and the Palestinian people in general and just... It's ridiculous. It was a ridiculous situation. It was a ridiculous thing to say. And it's genuinely upsetting that he decided to say this on stream. And then that so many people decided to agree with him. I believe that the Twitch ban was uh, correct. I believe that him getting suspended was the correct decision to make. And yeah, just holy shit, right? Holy shit. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it though. I don't think there's really much else for me to say about the topic at hand because I think we all are pretty much in agreement that what he said was really, really, really bad. He seriously messed up in this situation. He fucked up massively and he needs to make an actual proper apology. Not that it'll help because he's already upset so many people already, but, and it probably won't make that much of a difference, but at least it would help. It would help that he would have that instead of just saying, oh my bad, right? And, and have that be his apology. It would it would mean a lot more. And it would also mean a lot more if he would eventually end up doing a future live stream where he raises money for the children of Gaza, as Capri Sun Poppy actually suggested on Twitter. So anyways, that's pretty much it for me. I'm not going to talk about the situation any further because I don't think there's really anything else to say. Asmigold really fucked up in the situation. And I'm glad that he's suffering the repercussions for it. The repercussions of what he said. Because holy crap, man. It was just really bad anyways that's pretty much it if you like the video be sure to leave a like and if you want to see more please be sure to subscribe please consider joining the channel members that would really appreciate it i'll see you guys in the next one i'm out peace Let the